What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I should probably welcome myself back to the channel because it's been so long since I uploaded, but uh, quality parts take a lot of time. So, um, you know, my attention detail is always pretty high when it comes to these builds. If you've watched the last builds, you know that. And uh, yeah, so I like to take my time, make sure everything's right, and then make sure that everyone that's building the bike, I also trust. So pretty excited. I got a lot of new updates for this thing. We got suspension as well as new pipe, and I'm actually going to be competing on this thing at Red Bull imagination in about three weeks so uh it's kind of crunch time to get this thing built but again parts were just getting colored and coated and you know fine-tuned and all that stuff so anyways here are some of the updates on the parts that we've got we picked up this yoshimir os12 which they were cool enough to actually cerakote this black um this is not how they're gonna sell them but you know they know my style so uh they went ahead and did it black for me and then I think, and I'm not sure if I showed clamps yet, but we got some extra clamps, picked those up from the factory gas gas team. So those will look pretty sweet with all the other red that we have going on, on the bike. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed all this stuff. The most exciting thing that I've picked up is the set of suspension. Uh, I had the guys over at Pro Circuit do this stuff for me. And we went with a black fork tube with uh, gold lowers as well as the shock to match. And one thing that's a little different about this, I have KYB on the other bike, but what they did was they did it. You see the Pro Circuit logo right there, as well as Air Stem. So I guess you can add a little bit of pressure if you want. There's no pressure in there right now, but if it ends up being too soft, we can always add a little pressure, fine tune it. This setup's built for free ride. And then on the other KTM gas gas, whatever you want to call it, uh, the suspension was kind of just sitting up here in my loft. So I went ahead and got this stuff done as well to match. This is set up for motocross, so I will be able to ride moto tracks on one of my bikes now. But pretty excited to get this thing all together. Um, one thing that I gotta do before we hop into anything crazy is take the radiators off because if you guys watched the last videos, I didn't have this T-piece that goes, um, the coolant flows through kind of the center of the frame, and you cannot reuse these. I tried to use them on the last bike, did not work, so went and picked up a new one of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these radiators off and. Uh, throw in that piece and then we'll get to probably the suspension after that. All right, so when I'm installing this thing, I kind of just shimmy this, uh, you know, top of the piece in there. And then this part is what goes kind of up and like through the frame. And to install this, uh, they sell this like, I don't know, this little key and there's little grooves in there. So I gotta get this thing really nice and tight. And then I, I'm not sure what the official way to do it is, but I like to just kind of put a T-handle through, mm, that one might be too big, but t put a T-handle through the uh, top of this thing and just so you don't get a lot of movement in there because you have to get this thing extremely tight. I uh, actually do need to look up the torque spec, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this thing up and then uh, update you guys in a second. All right, so that T-piece is all in, radiators are back on. Um, I really couldn't find a torque spec for this thing, so called around, it just seems like you get it pretty tight and uh, so that's what I did. And then I went ahead and put the shock on because, I don't know, I feel like if I have the linkage on there, it's going to make things a little bit more complicated. But next step, I'm just going to go ahead and throw the rest of the linkage on and get this thing kind of looking right sitting on the stand so the swing arm's not all wonky like that. Uh, I also cleaned the air filter because I know a lot of you were commenting that uh, <laughs> that was like the only dirty piece on the bike. So I went ahead and cleaned that up and we'll go ahead and throw the linkage on and then I think the next step, I'll start... I don't know yet. Might throw the pipe on next and then mount up the uh, the uh, clamp so I can throw the forks on and this thing will start to look like a dirt bike again. Alright, so we got a few more updates. I uh, went ahead and threw the clamps on. Uh, I don't really remember where I left off last time. Oh yeah, I think I was putting the linkage on. So the linkage is on. Bike's sitting nice. Uh, clamps on. Um, they do utilize the stock bar mounts, which I'm kind of bummed about because I would have liked to get those black had I known that they... Uh, you know, I got to use those things, but oh well, I mean, they'll be covered up by bars anyways. Uh, I thought I had a set of 999s in my drawer. Turns out I don't, so I got to order those up. I also got this Yoshimura system put on, which is freaking awesome. Looks so good on the bike. Uh, definitely a little bit different of a design than I'm used to. And I kind of had a mini panic attack because I thought I ordered the wrong one or they sent me the wrong one. But obviously the front spring mounted and then it features this pretty cool like centerpiece. It's uh so usually it's just one mount that comes straight off the header to um, like the frame mount right there. Um, this bracket though is rubber mounted. So definitely a lot less vibration for the actual exhaust. So life of the exhaust should last even longer. Um, probably not a super big issue for me. I would like this exhaust to, you know, last just because it is black. But I think for a, a normal customer, that's pretty rad because um, I know the vibration of those things can definitely 
um, I don't know, make the exhaust not last as long. And then another spring back right here. And then the back obviously is uh, rubber mounted as well. So definitely a cool setup. Um, pretty stoked and definitely happy with the way it turned out and definitely fits the bike very well. Um, I got a few hammers over here, so you know I've been hitting on some stuff and the bike's definitely not centered on the stand. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these forks on really quick and then wrap this thing up. Uh, definitely excited to see how those things look. So I wanna put those on, but I gotta get going from the shop and run a bunch of other errands. So yeah, I'll throw those things on. Up to you guys here in just a minute. All right, there we have it. Finally starting to look like a dirt bike again. Um, this color turned out awesome. Obviously black uh, always looks good, but the gold really stands out. So pretty happy about that. Obviously we covered up by fork guard and then the shock shaft turned out awesome too. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap this thing up right here though. Uh, I got a set of wheels over here that I'm gonna throw on next week. They are W with some red hubs, but I gotta get some hardware for the, um, for the discs and for the sprocket. So obviously gotta order up a couple more parts. We are heading out this week though to go to Pismo and there's gonna be a pretty massive group out there. So definitely bring some cameras along, get some GoPro footage, have my brother film, and it should be an epic week. So stay tuned for next week's video, uh, as well as the remainder videos wrapping this thing up. And yeah, we have a custom set of graphics coming. So this thing's gonna look awesome at the end of it. Have a little photo shoot with it. We sure and document that as well. But as always, thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you in next week's video. So I